So this video is going to be uh, more Ford Fusion content. Uh, these are floor mats that I got off eBay. Um, we're going to do a review of the cheapest laser cut or laser fit floor mats that you can get for this car. Um, I think I paid $57. I'll have to look at the exact link on eBay and I can post it up. Um, I think the eBay seller is Auto How or Hey. I'm not sure. I'll have to look at it. So um, either way, these are laser cut fit floor mats for a 2013 to 16 Fusion, I guess. And 17 through whatever, when they stop making them, I guess the floors to change. But um, like I said, these are 57 bucks. The only thing I've pulled out was just the passenger floor mat. And I'm going to do an unboxing real quick of all of them. And then we'll put them in the car and see how they fit. Uh, for 57 bucks so far with the one I pulled out, I'm not mad about it. Um, I'm hoping... There's one little corner that's kind of weird on the one that I've pulled out, which I'll show you here in a second. But other than that, I'm hoping once it actually uh, heats up and contours to the floor that it will go away. But even if it doesn't, I'm not mad for $57. So let me go ahead and pull it out and um, I'll show each one and we'll show you what it looks like in the car. So up first is the passenger side. Uh, this is the corner that I was talking about and I'm hoping once it kind of lays down, it's a little weird. Um, it's sort of similar to if you've ever had Huskies or in my wife's car we have, it's called Oedro. I think I'm saying that right. Um, big fan of these though. They have a, a lip right here and um, they got grooves and stuff for the dirt to sit in. Um, on the back side, looks really good. There's that corner again. Like I said, not sure if that's going to come out, but even if it doesn't, I don't think I care for what I paid for these. Um, for my wife's car, I think it was like $140 for the Oedro, so this was literally $100 cheaper almost. Um, let me go ahead and pull the next one out, and I'll show you what that looks like. Um, this is the only one I've pulled out so far. We'll see if the other ones have any blemishes or flaws or anything that I don't. Okay, so this is obviously the back one. Um, this side looks really good. It looks like there's deep coverage. It looks like, again, there's a corner issue. I don't know if it's like a mold issue that they're having with these. Um, honestly, though, I'm for a 50 couple bucks, I am super impressed by these. That corner's fine. So this one actually looks really good. Uh, the only thing I noticed with this one is when I was unpacking it. Let me flip it over. <laughs> looks like right there in the middle. It's kind of ugly. I assume that's their molding for it whenever they ran these through. But other than that... They're not 100% perfect, but like I said, 57 bucks, they're not bad. So let me go ahead and pull the driver one out. We'll see how that one looks. And then one last video clip of it actually in the car. Okay, so uh, this is the driver's side. Apparently, I guess you need instructions to install these floor mats. If you need instructions to install these, I think you, you got bigger problems than that. So, um, let me trying to do this with one hand well that one looks perfect i have zero complaints about that has a little clips to hold this down in the spot these kind of remind me of a there's a spot back there in the corner again so it must be an issue with their mold I, i'm assuming this stuff will lay down I, if it doesn't I, again i don't care but these kind of remind me of a husky floor mat with the design i assume there's the nameplate nameplate for whatever these are mimicking but There's a couple little marks. I'm not mad about it though. So let me go ahead and uh, I got a little bit of, I got floor mats in there. I'm gonna pull out the carpeted ones. And um, up front I have some rag rugs and some cheapy Walmart ones. I'm gonna go ahead and pull them out and I got some water bottles on the passenger floor. Let me get all that stuff cleaned out, put these in and I will show you how they fit. Okay, so this is a fitment. Um, I'm not super impressed with the rears. They have a couple little issues like the fitment and I had to actually move the seat up and they slide in between the console and the seat. Uh, they're not bad in the back. Like I said, these are $50 mats, but um, the front's definitely way better. Um, let me show the front. Yeah, these, the, the fitment as far as up there, um, I wish there was a little tiny bit more over there by the gas pedal. Um, I am super impressed with these though. For 50 bucks, super happy. Um, let me show you the passenger side real quick. Can 
again, the only real issues that we're having is right there in the corner of some of these mats. Um, like I said, for 50 bucks, you get what you get, but I think they will lay down. So yeah, um, let me do a, um, actually, I guess that's it for this part. So, um, thanks again for watching. Sorry, I was going to do a second part. I got sidetracked. Um, like I said, for $50, these are really, really hard to beat. They were 57 something. I can post a link up. Super happy with these. Um, still need to scrub the seats again. They're kind of gross. But um, there's a couple other mods coming to this car. Once it's inspected, I do want to get 10 on it. Um, but I don't know what floor mats these are mimicking. But overall, for the price, it's a whole lot cheaper. So in my opinion, for the cheapest floor mats that are laser cut or laser fit for these vehicles, it's really, really hard to beat. So um, thanks again for watching. If you guys got any comments or anything below, um, go ahead and comment below. And thanks again for watching.